Hiya guys and welcome back to the channel Machining with Joe. So in the last video we made a really good start on the Stuart S50 model steam engine. We got all the base pretty much finished machining and ready to move on to the next part. So the next part. So I want to get the flywheel and crank pin all machined, fitted to the base and we can have a little play of it and spin it up. So before we head over to the machine today going to show you the technical drawings and just sort of give you an idea of what we have to achieve today. Looking at the technical drawings then for the flywheel and crank pin, these two operations look like they're going to be a pretty basic operation with hopefully nothing major coming up. So I've already done the conversion so I know from the imperial measurements what I need to be hitting in the metric conversion and all of those seem to tidy up quite nicely. A few things which I've noticed up here on the threaded crank pin, it's asking for a 2BA thread and down in the conversion shot that actually turns out to be 4mm so that's going to be great, we can do that to an M4 die and the same down here with the flywheel, it's asking for a 5BA tap. Now when we look over at the conversion chart for this a 5BA actually turns out to be 2.65mm so I'm hoping I can get away with a 3mm tap in there and not have to buy a set of 5BA taps for that. But for now I've got the conversions, I know what we need to do. The first sort of operation is going to be similar to what we've done on the base and that's get rid of all these horrendous casting marks and get that over in the lathe to be ready to be machined. Well, with that flywheel all cleaned up now, most of the raw casting marks are all gone now and we're left with a fairly flat surface, I need to think about the order of operation. So my plan is, I know this needs to have a quarter inch reamed hole all the way through it. So what I'm thinking is if I do that operation first, I can then machine up an arbor off camera and we can mount this flywheel onto a quarter inch arbor. That way I can do all the other operations I need to do and I know that everything is going to be concentric to the centre of this flywheel. So that's my plans. I'm going to come in, centre drill, drill out to 6mm and then ream and after that we can get this mounted on an arbour and do all the machining we want to do on that. With the part all drilled out now then, I'm just finishing up this off with a reamer and that should give the perfect fit and also a really good surface finish. So we need a way of mounting this in the lathe and this is where the arbor comes in handy. So just quickly knocking this up, going to make an arbor with a quarter inch smooth shank and just finishing that off with an M6 die there. With our flywheel all now mounted on its arbor, I can focus on turning down some dimensions to get this thing to the technical drawing. So to begin with, I'm going to start with turning down this outer diameter because I know that is now going to be concentric to the main crank pin it's going to sit on. So the dimension we're aiming for is 3 inches or 76.2 millimeters. And just quickly, 
and we're about 79 and a half mil at the minute so I've got a little bit to take off on that so I'm just going to take some light passes with this just to test the water and see what we can get away with and then from there we're going to face these both these sides off and try hitting that dimension as well. To start with then on this flywheel we're actually having quite a few interrupted cuts as the outside surface isn't concentric on this flywheel where I've been grinding it down and it's come out of a cart it's not a perfect circle so the first few cuts we're going to be doing are going to be interrupted cuts until we start to get this something that resembles a perfect circle After several cuts then, we get an outer surface that's starting to resemble something of a circle and the cuts are becoming a lot more consistent. So no more interrupted cuts on this, we can start to think about getting a good final surface finish and also hitting our dimensions bang on. Right then, we're starting to make good progress on the flywheel now. I've got the major outer diameter all turned down and we've also got this thickness here turned down. So the next thing we need to do is set the gap on these flanges. So the flywheel in fact isn't central to these bosses. So one side's going to have to be turned down a lot more than the other. So I've been thinking how I can do this and the best way I've thought to do it is using my parting tool I'm going to part up to here zero out the DRO and then including the parting blade uh, thickness I'm going to move across plunge in a little bit and then from there I know exactly where I need to sort of turn this down to to get either side the same to begin with then I think we're going to start off with the smaller offset of the two so I'm just bringing my parting blade in now until we touch off on this outer here. Right, with that touched off, I'm going to zero out my DRO. And what are we aiming for? We're aiming for 1.59 millimeters. So I'm just going to come across 1.59 millimeters. So with that there now, I'm going to lock out this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go in, plunging towards that. I'll probably go fairly deep, just because then it'll give us a lot easier way of parting that off later on. So, let's give this a whirl. So, slow that right down. And in we go. I think that'll do for now. Yeah, we've got quite a good mark there of where we're going to machine to. So next operation, I'm going to flip this over, do exactly the same again, and then that will give us our two reference points which we can turn down to. With the part all now flipped in our arbor, I'm going to do exactly the same method again. 
So zero that out on the parting blade. And this time, this time we're looking for 4.76 millimeters. So a fair bit more than last time. 4.7. Four point seven six. So I'm going to plunge in again, and hopefully that's going to leave us a nice mark, so we know where to machine to in a minute. So looking at it, this side's barely going to take any off at all. Yeah, it's literally going to be a facing cut. That's fine. At least we know we've not got barely anything to machine off of that side. Right, so because of this setup, I'm not going to be able to face these off as I'd like to. So I'm going to have to take this out of the arbor now and mount this back in the free jaw. But concentric wise, it's not a massive deal because in theory we're just doing multiple facing passes. So it shouldn't affect this part too much. Only one thing I might quickly do while I've got this set up. I might just quickly clean off this face here for the flywheel. It might just make it easier later on when we have to drill for that grub screw. So I'll do that. When you come back, you'll see me getting this down to final diameter. So we've got the flywheel off the mandrel now, and it's just dawned on me that maybe there's enough material here that we can just part this all off in one go. So I'm gonna give that a whirl, and then we're gonna do a bit of facing operation on both sides. And then this flywheel is pretty much done. First of all then, let's check out that part that we've just machined. So surface finish wise, that is really nice. It's come out a beautiful surface finish. And also, while I've got it, I think we should go over the dimensions. Because some of these I've hit so good. It's probably the closest I've hit dimensionally in projects that I've done. So diameter wise, Diameter of this thing, we were looking at 76.2 millimetres. And uh, is that going to get it? 76.19. So that's really good for me. Uh, next dimension, I think there was. Overall 19.5, so let's see if the calipers can get on that. Sorry, 19.05, and what are we reading? Hmm. So next sort of thickness after the diameter was the sort of width of the flywheel, which was meant to be 12.7. So looking at that, 12.55, 12 12.6, 12 so 0.1 millimetre off. So overall, that's come out really nice. The only sort of thing I've got to do on this is drill and tap a hole in here. So still deciding how I'm going to do that because it's set. It's set to be going in at a slight angle. So I'm going to think off camera how I'm going to get that done and maybe do it off cam. But I'll let you guys know in the next few videos how I'll go about doing that. So next part we need to think about now is the crank pin. So I'm quite lucky really, the material that they supply you is already down to final diameter, so we don't have to worry about anything there. Only really thing that we need to worry about on this is we need to put a M4 thread on the end and we need to cross drill that just so the grub screw's got somewhere to sit. Mm. 
There we have it then guys. Our flywheel and crank pin is all finished and machined. So sorry I didn't cover much on the crank pin side of things. Literally in the end all it was was a M4 thread on one side and the end parting off to length. There still has to be a little grub screw put in here but again I'm going to do that at a later date. But for now in this video we've got the crank pin in and we've also got the flywheel. The flywheel is what I'm really happy about. That's come out really nice and the process of putting on an arbor made that a really easy project to do. So for now we're going to leave the Stuart model steam engine there because I've got a few little jobs that need doing around the workshop. I've got a new workshop tool slash project that I need to design and once it's designed I'll be sharing it with you guys and you'll be watching me build that in the workshop. So just a little sneaky insight. I want to make myself a belt sander. So not the usual belt sander which you can buy down B&Q. It's more of one of those belt sanders like you see like knife makers use. So 72 inches belt by 2 inches wide. So I'm going to be designing that and then over the next few weeks hopefully we'll be building that in the workshop. But as well as that obviously we're moving soon. So I'm going to have to start think about packing everything up and getting ready to move and hopefully I'll be sharing with you guys the new workshop me building it start to finish because at the minute there's a shed there but it needs upgrading making bigger electric putting in so we've got a lot of stuff going on but for now that's that all done hope you've enjoyed this guys see you next time